Hi, everyone. About a minute on Terra Power's announcement that it will delay the start of its natrium reactor project in Wyoming by as much as two years. You may have been following this story. Terra Power is a startup nuclear company backed by Bill Gates. They have been planning to build a new type of uh, nuclear reactor in Kemmerer, Wyoming. Uh, the name of the reactor is Natrium, and it's a new design. The problem is they need HALU fuel from Russia. That HALU is high assay, low enriched uranium. Uh, ordinary uh, nuclear fuel is enriched to about 5%. HALU is enriched to about 20%. The problem is that there's only one company that produces HALU and it's called 10X and it's based in Russia. And Terra Power officials have already hinted around this. They had a press conference in Washington when I was there in October uh, for the International Atomic Energy Agency's uh, ministerial talking about their plans to explore uh, other reactors and other, other locations in the Western U.S with the idea that their reactor would replace existing coal plants. All excellent ideas, but the problem is there's a supply chain bottleneck around this supply of HALU fuel. Um, 10X, this Russian company, is the only one uh, that provides that fuel into the U.S. market. And uh, Centris, some other American companies say they want to build or they want to provide that fuel, but they're nowhere near to being ready to provide it. So this is another example of the delays we're seeing in the permitting and deployment of new nuclear reactors. Um, it's not just a regulatory problems at the NRC or commercial or fabrication issues, but also fuel supply chains. These are all part of the challenge in re the revival of nuclear power here in the U.S., and they won't be easy to overcome. Okay, click the link in my bio, like, share, follow, you know, all of that stuff. Thanks a lot. See ya.